Managing walking on stairs may cause certain difficulties for your dog. Sometimes this concerns only a few types of stairs, for example, stairs with partly transparent steps, or those between which you can see the ground. For the first exploration of a staircase, choose one which is not too busy. There is no difference if you begin the exercise in the direction up or down. However, it is better to start in a direction which is more comfortable for your dog. Take treats into your hand, and by the help of them, lead the dog to the stairs. Provide the dog with enough time to sniff the step, to explore it, and then try to lure him with a treat to overcome the step. If he is afraid of it and does not even want to come close to the stairs, praise him and feed him a treat whenever he makes a step towards the stair. If he reaches the edge of the step, reward his every attempt to overcome it, and after he manages, give him a treat. If you know that your dog will be afraid of stairs, start the exercise on a short staircase or even on a curb. The dog thus understands that overcoming the step is not a problem and that he can get a treat very easily. When your dog is able to overcome a short staircase without any problems and with enthusiasm, you can change to a longer staircase. Later, try even more difficult stairs, for example, a metal staircase with transparent steps. If the dog begins to worry again, use the same method as during the first meeting with the stairs. With puppies, start with the training of walking on stairs only after they are old enough and do the exercise on stairs which are not too big for them. Proceed from short and easy stairs to longer and more difficult ones. Change the level of difficulty only after your dog has managed the easier kinds of steps. Never push the dog down the stairs or drag him. Encourage him only and let him overcome the stairs on his own. If you force him, he will develop a fear of stairs. 